indulge their sweet tooth, it is tomorrow. So whether you're bringing treats to a class party or hosting a ghoulish get-together at night, we've got some kooky and creepy <laughs> creations, courtesy of Women's Day Deputy Food Editor, Anna, Anna Helm-Baxter. Helm hey, girl. Hey, happy Hello. Halloween. Oh, happy right, baby. baby. Happy baby. Hey, coming yeah. in February. Thank you. Congrats. <laughs> So what are we creating today? So this is our monster mashup. This is a great one because it uses a lot of storable ingredients, cookies, donuts, yeah. cupcakes, and then I'm sure everyone's house is full of candy ready to go right yeah. now. Yeah. So you just lay them out on the table. It's a great one right. to get the kids involved. Good. All right, let's move on. This looks like an Intamin's donut. Yeah. Already put it in me. I know those, them. Uh, I know yes. them. These, yeah, the people love these. Okay, so we've got an Intamin's donut that we're just going to cut in half one way. Okay. And then the other. This is our, our Dracula dentures. Okay. We've got some red. <laughs> buttercream. This it is goes so on the bottom and the top. Cool. These are our gums. Right? Oh, and then you just put so yeah, so marshmallow that is so in. that is adorable. I like to do two layers so that it balances and then you know even Dracula. <laughs> yeah. Very, very cute. It's a little yes, bling so on the final so Very cute. Well, okay. okay, this is a super easy one. Any kind of bar that you can make. These are brownies. You could do a loaf cake. We're making mummies. Making mummies. This is cream cheese frosting with a flat pie pizza. Cream cheese frosting. It's the best. Yes. Yes, it um, really is. So you're just going to go back and forth. If if this feels too intimidating, then you can just use a zip top bag and go back and forth. Okay. And then I have little young kids at home, so I like to always add these little candy eyeballs. Of course you do. Makes them kind of cute. Those are Not sweet. Too That's easy. Adorable. Anybody can do that. One. Yes. So cute. Okay. You can do any size too. Okay. Wow. All right, chow mein noodles. These are going to make our haystack creatures. Okay. We're going to make them taste even better by coating them in chocolate. Oh, yes. Yes. So, <laughs> so when did you give up sweets? Huh? I, 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 I'm starting again tomorrow. <laughs> After Halloween. Yeah. After Halloween. Okay, so you yeah. just coat it all and then coat it all, And then this will get scooped onto our baking tray. Okay. Uh -huh. We'll chill them so they set a little bit. Yeah, they that, come out like with this. With dark chocolate, right? And then you can get creative. You want oh. some fun colored eyeballs. This is another good one to do with the kids. And then what I love to do for the presentation is some toasted coconut. Oh, and you just put some apples. eyes on top. Yeah. <coughs> Super easy. <coughs> oh, cute. Very cute. Yeah. All right, okay. the last one is bark. I love a bark because it takes about five seconds to make. Mm -hmm. And this is a white chocolate bark, which I put Oreos on the bottom. Oh, Pretzel please. Pretzel sticks is also another good one. And then we have um, some chocolate that we're going to do some spider webs out of, so you just do some nice uh, long lines. Kathy would like this because you like I do, do I like, like, like this, <laughs> but I would, I'd be so... I'd be so anal about it. Don't say anal. I want to. I wanted to say anal, and I'm going to say it again. I would be so anal. I am too. I am too. Stop saying it. But but something you just bring it out. So then these we can just stick when the chocolate's still wet. Some whoppers. Okay. All great ideas. Great ideas. And the raven put the raven. Thank you so much.